I've leveled out the triple beam balance, and now I'm going to place our largest piece of potassium onto it and, and find out just how much we got. Okay, it looks like it's 1.8 grams. That's a very disappointing yield. Um, I would expect like 6.5-ish grams from this, so like 30% yield. But then again, we also have a lot of potassium that's still in this, uh, this container right here. I haven't filtered it all out and purified it. And then we also lost some of our yield in the step where we added ethanol, which reacted with the potassium in order to put the potassium in a state where it could intermix with the surrounding globules. In order to improve this method of synthesis, I would say the best route would be to purchase a solvent like tetrahydronaphylene uh, that's high boiling and denser than potassium. That way the potassium would float rather than sink. That's what Nerd Rage did in his video. If accessibility to such a solvent is difficult for you, mineral oil and kerosene still are great alternatives. Although from what I've found is they don't work individually in their own right. Uh, my best guess for that is that the mineral, well, I really don't know why the mineral oil doesn't work on its own. The kerosene, I know that it refluxes too strongly for the potassium to form little beads like this. So you just get a powder with potassium in it, which if that's what you want, whatever, but it's really no use to me. Uh, that's why I came up with the 50-50 mix of it. The thing about kerosene is it's sold with a wide variety of alkanes in it which really means that you could buy some uh, from one brand that's a low boiling solvent and another brand sells a high boiling solvent. Uh, and that can be difficult. Like my kerosene was a low boiling solvent, so it really made reaching 200 degrees Celsius difficult because it was always getting to 180 degrees Celsius and then boiling rapidly from then on uh, as I cranked up the heat. But Good thing was for me that 180 degrees Celsius was uh, also suitable for this reaction to take place. If you guys like this video, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.